Certainly some warm summer weather out there today, but we are still waiting for our first 90 degree temperature of the year. Let's check out the numbers and on average we're a few weeks late now. The average first day of 90 degree weather at TF Green would be on June 9th. May 3rd was when we reached 90 degrees last year and of course we're still waiting for our first 90 degree temperature this year. Could we do it today? There's a slight chance. I think a better chance tomorrow. We have a high temperature forecast of 89 and then we get a little cooler on Saturday. Still muggy though. On Sunday some scattered storms with dropping humidity. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a minute. Right now temperatures are warm 83 in Providence, 82 in Smithfield. Still sitting at 81 degrees in Newport, 78 in Westerly. Of course these temperatures at the coast are especially wind direction dependent and even though right now in Newport we're getting a wind from the northeast. I wouldn't be surprised if this shifts around to the south over the next few hours and drops the temperatures back into the 70s. No doubt about it. It's humid when you get these uh, dew points in the upper 60s to low 70s. That's when it feels really sticky and you can see these numbers at 71 in Westerly, 70 in Providence, 68 in Newport, 66 on Block Island. So it's the type of day where if you are out there exercising. It won't take very long to start sweating. Weak front overhead right now. That could kick off an isolated shower or two today, but the risk of that is very low. Better chance of showers arrives on Saturday, but even that coverage won't be very much, I don't think. In fact, this is Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning as a cold front approaches. This will kind of sit just to our north and west through much of Saturday, and that may spark off an isolated shower, thunderstorm, and a few of these could be strong, but there also be maybe a lot of real estate here across our area that stays completely rain free for all of Saturday on Sunday will also bring in the chance of some scattered thunderstorms and a few of those storms on Sunday could actually contain some small hail. We'll keep you updated on that. So today, as I mentioned, temperatures in the low 80s along some of the coast right now likely dropping back into the 70s with those breezes coming in from the south. You get away from the bay and water today by just a few miles. We're pretty toasty temperatures mid to upper 80s. It will feel a bit warmer because of that humidity around 86 here in Burville and in eastern Massachusetts temperatures also in the mid to upper 80s around 87 in Alboro, uh, low to mid 80s in Seekonk, a little cooler here around the Horseneck Beach area in Westport, Dartmouth around 75 degrees. At the beach on average this afternoon, upper 70s with mostly sunny skies. Certainly a nice day to head down to the shore to escape some of the mugginess that we're experiencing and on the water. A pretty nice day with winds starting from the north earlier today and then shifting to the south at around 5 to 10 knots. This evening, temperatures dropping back through the 70s. You can see quite a drop here from around 6 p.m. to 10 or 11 p.m. Upper 60s and mid 60s should do it for overnight low temperatures. And in the seven day forecast, you could see another warm day for tomorrow. 85 on Saturday and then on Sunday, high temperature of 80 degrees. I think in terms of the amount of time that it may be raining during the day, I would favor Sunday over Saturday. It doesn't mean a washout, but some scattered storms are likely. And again, we'll keep an eye on that hail threat. Could be some of that small hail falling from those storms on Sunday. And then into next week, humidity actually drops a bit fairly comfortable as we go into 4th of July week with temperatures in the low 80s and mostly sunny skies. So all in all, Patrick doesn't look too bad. Of course, if you are outside this weekend, the WPRI Pinpoint Weather app, a great uh, tool to have with you, especially if we're tracking some of these showers and thunderstorms. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Pete. Now on stories coming up new tonight, starting live at 5,